What a disappointing game this was. What a terrible performance from our team. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. How can we go out there at the Etihad and lose 4-0? 4-0! None of City's goals weren't even impressive. Oh my god. I just can't believe with this team. I cannot believe the performance we put out there was absolutely awful. It was, oh my God, it was so disappointing to watch. So disappointing to watch. I don't know if that was my team, Real Madrid, playing or not. How did we play so bad against Man Manchester City at the Etihad? Conceding four easy goals. Are you kidding me? We did not put out a good performance out there. We did not fight for that final spot of the Champions League. City deserved it. Say they truly deserved it. What on earth was this? What the hell? The most most dreadful performance I've seen from Real. Militao needs to leave right now. He needs to leave the club. We we are so much better without him. This guy needs to leave the club right now. Militao Carvajal. Come on, Vingo, too. What the hell was this? What on earth are we doing? We're getting bullied. We are getting bullied. From players like De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, Holland. How did we let that happen? Disappointing performance. The worst performance. The most dog. I'm sorry for cursing guys. But dog shit performance I've ever seen from Real. Don't mean to curse guys. But still. I'm just so, so mad at this team. How can we go out there and not play with everything we have? This is our own competition, and we can't even beat a team that has zero, zero Champions League trophies in their history. We also lost to a team that has less Champions League trophies than Nottingham Forest. Even Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa have more Champions League trophies than Man City. And PSG combined. My God, what the hell was this? Benzema, where was he? Where was Vinicius too? Where was the front three? Where was everyone? No one in this goddamn team played with their hearts. Out. No one. No one put a little bit of effort. No one. Defense has been terrible. Dog shit, I'm sorry for cursing again, but still, utterly shit. What the hell? What the hell is this? Conceding four goals? Four? Oh my god. Again, our away form has been terrible. Ancelotti clearly needs to leave the club. We cannot have him for next season. We cannot have a manager who who has a low mentality to be our man you know to be managing Real Madrid next season to manage the best we are the best club in the world best club in the world and we clearly can't beat a Man City team who has never won a Champions League who has never never had an impressive history the only way how Man City ever got history in, in their in their um team was by Pep Guardiola the hell was this, man? And we, we, we lost another spot for the final. We would have played Inter in Istanbul. That could guarantee that would have been an easy 15 Champions League. I am just so upset with the way how we performed. As I said, Militao needs to go. He he simply does not know what he's doing. He does he can't pass. 
All right. I'll tell you that he he doesn't know when to pass. He can't pass. He can't tackle. He can't keep a clean sheet at the back, and he can't defend. So what can he do? He can't intercept well. He doesn't know where to clear the ball. So what can Militao do? And oh my God, Portal fans, you guys were right. They said that they said when we signed Edin Militao from Portal in 2019 for I think around 15 million. They said, do not trust this guy. This guy's a clown. This guy's a joke at defense. And guess what? They were right. He, he showed in that, in that match against Man City that he clearly does not know what he's doing. And he cannot be a top-class defender playing at a top-level club. The best club in history. He simply cannot do that. And that's why I think he's got to go. He has to leave Real. I don't care if, you know, if you're scoring a lot this season. You got to do your job at the back, man. Carvalho does not know when to put a foot in. Simply does not know how how to get the ball away from Grealish. Grealish kept kept dribbling past him. Yeah, simply Car Kamavinga, I don't know what he was doing. Kamavinga, he had a terrible game. Worst performance I've seen from him in a Real Madrid shirt. Again, guys, I'm just so mad. How? How did we lose to a to a low standardized team who has never won a Champions League in their history and only knows how to win in England? They're only scoring a lot of goals because of Holland and De Bruyne. Bernardo said, "Well, he did not have an impressive brace. No, those were easy goals. A conju that was simply off Militao. Militao also made an own goal in this game." And nobody even knows Julian Alvarez. He came right off the bench and he scored. How do we let this happen on a Champions League night? Okay, yes, I know it wasn't at the burn bow, but still, we have to put up a fight no matter what stadium this is. I don't care if it's Etienne, Stamford Bridge, or Anfield, or Parc de Prince. Put up the fight required. If we're the best team in the world, we got to show that we are... Yeah, we are the best team, and we were capable of what we're doing. Every player that played in that game did not put out, put out their hearts. I don't know if this was my club, Real Madrid, or not. This is this, it, this, after that game, man. I just I didn't know if that was truly Real Madrid. I mean, losing 4 0 to City away, especially at the Etihad. Yes, I know City are good at their home ground, but we were supposed to show that we were the better, better team. And clearly, we don't know how to do that. Our manager does not know how to do that. We need a new manager. We need a manager who has a winning mentality who makes his players work more harder on the pitch, who makes them more disciplined. We need a manager who simply yeah, simply knows how to help the team, rotate the team. Another thing. Even Lucas Vasquez and Danny Sabahos were playing better than the rest of the team, and they came off the, the bench. Listen, Courtois is the only one who was fighting, fighting for this game. The only player who was trying for that badge. He, he was the only one fighting for that Madrid badge. I have not seen... I expected so much more from Kareem Benzema. Um, even Modric, Cruz, which I think they ghosted in my opinion. I don't know where they were. And Car you know, the defense too, to step up. Step up. I don't care if it's Holland. I don't care if it's De Bruyne. Step up. Get the ball from them. Yeah, I'm just so mad at this team. And again, that another reason why I've not been uploading recently. Again, Inter fans, please, I hope you you guys win the Champions League. Guys, just disappointing. Now, worst UCL performance I've ever seen as a Real fan. This was even worse than the IX game in 1819.
I don't know, we played this bad. How can we play this bad? This is our competition. Did our portal of 15 just happen for... Did we just not have it in ourselves? Now, we have nothing to fight for for the rest of the season. Now, all we got to do is secure second place in La Liga. And we're doing so bad in La Liga. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible, guys. So, so bad. So bad. Oh, my God. This is a night to forget for us Real fans. So, next year, hope we, we, I, hope, I hope we come back stronger. Again, on that day when we lost, bro, I was raging. Yeah, I was not in the mood to record. But, um, yeah. <sighs> I just wasn't meant to be in the season. I hope Inter win the Champions League final. I hope Man City, you go down. I hope you lose the Champions League final. I'm just so heartbroken. So heartbroken. Mad. Anger. I can't describe how mad I am with this team, man. Again, we need, we got to do better next season. We sign more players. Bellingham is already a first signing. I like that. And um, yeah, just really. Really mad, guys. Gutted, heartbroken. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Yeah. Just, just heartbreaking, man. Just, especially in the Champions League.